This is Christian Chimpa Gonzalez. My name is David Rodella. Um, I'm 12 and 0 with 11 knockouts. My record is uh, 17 and 12 and 3 with seven knockouts. For this fight, I know that I'm going against a, you know, a tough a tough competitor. So we're just more focused on what we gotta do. This training camp was great. I had plenty of time to get ready. It wasn't a short notice. It took a lot of fights on a week notice, four day notice. I know that he's gonna bring out the best of me March 4th. You know, that he's gonna bring out all his tricks that he has learned with, uh, with sparring Manny Pacquiao, fighting Crawford, Linares, uh, Ronnie Rios. He has fought really good fighters. So I think uh, he's gonna test my will on March 4th and uh, we will be ready. At least for this fight, I'm gonna do me. I'll be fighting my style my fight it should be a good fight oh, we, we're trying to uh, leave nothing behind in the gym trying to uh, um, train 110 percent to give a, a spectacular show on march 4th obviously you can tell he has a lot of knockout power i mean to have a 90 percent knockout ratio that's really really high and really good but what are you gonna learn after knocking too many people out we all know you can hit hard but what have you learned can he weather the storm when the storm gets tough i mean because i'm gonna take him to deep waters i mean so is he gonna be able to handle the pressure he's gonna be able to handle me hugging and holding has he been tired like that no most of the guys he's fought all have losing records he hasn't what are you gonna learn after knocking somebody out on the first round first round yeah you can knock out people good great but have you been in there with someone that has enough experience like myself i have a lot of experience as i'm getting older i'm starting to get more focused on what i have to be doing so uh you know we get up in the morning go run come back home uh eat a little breakfast relax for a little bit come to the gym if it's a sparring day we spar we hit the the, the mitts um you know we do the the routine of you know, every boxer does. March fourth should, uh, should 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 show that uh, that we're ready to go. I had six week uh, six week training camps, which is plenty of time for me because I usually only get four or five days. So if he beats me, beats me fair and square. But I doubt it that he's gonna beat me like that easy. You know, we always go in the mentality of we're gonna fight eight rounds, we're gonna fight the decision. But uh, if the knockout comes, it's more than welcome. We will be looking for the knockout. But if the knockout does not come, we will be ready to fight eight rounds. Like my dad says. If you hurt the guy, don't give him a chance. Finish him because if he ever has you in that situation, he's not going to let it, let it slide. And, uh, but yes, every fight is leaving me a learning experience. Uh, like I said, I only did 18 amateur fights, and now as a pro, I'm still learning. So, and I still got a lot to prove, a lot to learn. But, uh, you know, little by little, we're, we're, getting, we're getting there. You know, it would be a good accomplishment. I mean, to be able to say that I still got it, beat a younger guy, uh, I mean, I mean, I'll put a good chip on my shoulder just for my own personal, not for nobody else, but for myself. Even even if I was to win that fight, I think I'd, I'd literally say, you know what, that's good, that's enough. And I start, I'd walk away just because I can leave with a good a good victory and say, that's it, it's over. That to me would be the, the perfect ending uh, to my boxing career. End with the victory and say, you know what, I lost, I, I lost plenty, but at least I won my last fight. I called it quits and I fought somebody that, that was a good, uh, a good prospect. That's exactly what it is, a good prospect. If he beats me, then yeah, I'll take my hat off to him. Like I said, I still got a lot to learn. Uh, 20 years old, and uh, you know, a win over Rodella would, uh, you know, would I think take me to the next next step. We're uh, turning into a, a, a prospect to look out for. It crosses my mind all the time. In almost every fight, I go, okay, this is my last one. This is my last one. I think I've retired of total of like. I don't know, seven, eight times. I just had a recent one, supposedly I retired, and here I am again, and back in the ring. If this guy beats me fair and square, then I can I can be comfortable with myself and say, you know what, it's time for me to retire. So if I beat somebody, I say, man, I still got it. That's pretty cool. And then walk away and say, that's it, over. Uh, we'll be fighting uh, with the experienced fighter, Dave Rodella, uh, that will, he will test my will and bring out the best of me. And uh, best of luck to him, and you guys don't want to miss it because it's going to be a, a very exciting fight.